Students, let's talk about the most essential part of orthopedics, that is the bone. Now to understand the basic sciences of how a bone is made, we have to break it down into smaller fragments. So if I break this bone down into this fragment, you will see an image like this, where you can appreciate two types of bone. The first one is a cortical bone, the second one is a cancellous bone. Now the difference between both of them is the cortical bone is a compact bone that has a marrow cavity and it has yellow marrow cells. Also it is more commonly seen in the diaphysis and it has less vascularity and because of that less healing potential and less chances of infection. Now coming to cancellous bone which is a spongy trabecular bone where there is presence of red marrow cells and there is no marrow cavity. This is more commonly seen in the epiphysis and because it has very good vascularity there is high healing potential and also high chances of infection. Now if you want to know more about the bone we have to break it down further and then you will get an image like this. In this image, we can identify three important structures. The first one being osteon, which is also called as the Haversian system, which is a group of concentric lamellae, And this is the functional unit of the bone. The other structure that you can see is a Haversian canal, which is a connection in the bone, which has blood vessels and also another channel called as Bokeman's canal, which is blood vessels within the bone. Now if you want to see further, you break the bone down again and you will get an image like this where you are able to identify three important cells that is osteocyte, osteoblast and osteoclast. Please remember that osteoblasts are builder cells, they build bones and osteoclasts are cutter cells, they cut the bone down or resorb the bone and osteocytes are the ones that are present in majority and they are a form of resting osteoblasts. Now to understand about the key element of bone, remember that a bone is formed by a joining of proteins, minerals and water. So this was about the basic science of a bone. Happy learning.